Yes, that is what state police are saying. However, they have made no arrest. However, they say they have found the SUV and the damage on it is consistent with hitting a trooper. And state police also say that this is a dangerous reality that they deal with every day. It was an awful phone call, you know, just one that you never want to get. It was 2.30 in the morning when Paige Minotti learned that her fiancé, New Hampshire State Trooper Ryan Hickey, had been hit by a car. It happened on the Everett Turnpike early Sunday morning. The driver never stopped. He was there helping another trooper and was walking back to, you know, his driver's side and just got hit, you know, from the back, didn't see it coming. And, you know, just the thought of that is, is awful. The second of two frightening incidents for this trooper of just one year. Hickey also responded on May 13th when two Manchester officers were shot. I was at work and I saw it on the news and, you know, it's just like, oh my gosh, he's, he's there. He could, he could get hit. And After Hickey was hit on the interstate, the other trooper was able to put out a description of the suspect's vehicle. And 24 hours later, state police announced that they had the SUV and a person of interest. And once again, stressed that drivers need to be careful. That someone's on bor borrowed time. We can't keep having the number of cruisers get hit that we've had. We had 23 cruisers hit two winters ago between Thanksgiving and the end of February. And just last month, there was a close call on I-89, a bus whizzing by a trooper just inches from hitting him. State police say Trooper Hickey is incredibly lucky, a sentiment Paige echoes as well. Things could have been so much worse than what they are. You know, he, I'm just thrilled that he's actually alive, to be honest. You know, a few more inches one way and he could be, you know, not here. So I'm just thankful that he's here. Now, Paige says Ryan's left side is pretty bruised up and he's having some mobility issues, but overall he's in good spirit. She says that they are planning their wedding for August and she hopes everything goes as planned. Reporting live in Bedford, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.